Got them all lined up, ready to go. Now, need to get our colors out for this. I want these more on the transparent side. Oh, that skirt the living daylight side of me. Time to turn that off. I like to be in control of when that pops on.
and there you go, smelt. Once these dry up, they actually should be pretty good shape. warm up okay guys I'm back we are moving on to the next color which I have decided which I have decided is going to be a crappy color okay now I don't know how this is going to turn out because quite frankly I'm just winging it um, and we're gonna go as it goes Starting off with the copper color, I mean, it's gold in color, but they hit, it's, this is the stupidest looking copper I've ever seen. I, I literally own copper, like I, I have chunks of copper that have come out of the ground, so I know what color copper is. This is not copper, this is gold, okay, this is gold, this is not copper. Okay, copper is this color. It is a beautiful color. And this, the, the, come on now guys. Copper, gold, copper, copper, really? Come on now. Ay vey. I need to turn on some light because it is getting a little dark. I'm going to turn on the other lights. Get a little bit more light in here. But I like using copper when it comes to this. Uh, I like using the pearl copper because it's closer to actual gold um, than their gold is, in my opinion. So I like to use the copper for any gold. Move on with a little bit of pearl lime. I'm going to put this literally right over top the gold, right? Doing nothing different. Right over the gold. Because I want a brown color, but I want that gold, I want this to be green, too. The gold will still show through. Believe it or not, it will. Okay, so we're, we're moving on. Very... Mm, Yeah, we're moving on. Okay, okay, okay. Now I'm going to put in some leaf green. Not a lot. I only put two drops in. These are tiny lures. I think that's, yep, that's leaf green. Okay. And just over the back kind of blend in the back. Okay. That actually, actually did it just fine. Okay, moving on. Okay. Moving on to the next color, which is perhaps my second favorite color that I use. Um, it, it's just a, a folk art color shift black and gold. This this here gives me more detail. I'm, I love it, but it's uh, it's a love hate relationship. Okay. Now 
we're going to move on and get some stenciling done. Now, if you remember just a second ago, I said this stuff is a love and hate relationship. It's because it's amazing. I love what it does and the effect it gives. However, it can be a bit tricky to spray if you're not careful. So we're gonna Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ba 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 ba. I'm loving it. Okay. That one I moved a little bit. Still looks good in my opinion. That'll probably be one of my personal ones. Okay, push that to the side. Happen. Oh my. Perfect. gonna be getting stencils for these here soon I'm excited I'm having custom stencils made uh, for these these blanks here guys nope I moved that one just slightly okay just slightly but still looks good still looks good and then right over the top And that's it. That's literally done, guys. That is a finished bait. Aside from, aside from you not seeing me do any of the pre-work on it, which was literally priming it with, with pearl, that only took like not even 10 minutes. Um, and that's what I love about these. You don't need a lot of detail in these smaller baits to make them look great. Um, quite frankly, because the smaller fish ain't got much detail in them. <laughs> uh, so it's, you know, the, these are amazing, amazing little baits here. And that, I just love them. I love how they paint up. Um, and how simple they can be.